Hello everyone, my name is the Slifer Slacker himself, and today I've got a very different kind of video for you. With me here, I have a man who is very prolific in his work, and especially so when looking at the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. You may not know his name, but you've definitely heard many of his voices. He's Casey Jones, Kid Muscle, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Megatron, and dozens of voices on Pokémon. But for Yu-Gi-Oh! alone, Duke Devlin, Valen, Raphael, Siegfried, The Chaz Princeton, Hunter Pace, Sayer, Roman Goodwin, Astral, Flame, and of course, the greatest character to ever be named in all of anime, The D. <laughs> and just so many more. Let me welcome Mark Thompson. Thank you very much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Awesome. Uh, so I'm sure everyone's asked you a hundred times before how you started voice acting. So I'm going to ask something a little different. I'm going to ask, how did you first get involved with the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise as, I believe, Duke Devlin first? Yes, yes. Um, I was working, I'm, I'm an actor in New York, and mm. I originally uh, started working on Pokemon first. And uh, I believe that the um, s some of the people that worked on Pokemon, uh, it switched studios from, I believe it was Taj Studios was producing it. And then it switched over to 4Kids Entertainment. Oh, someone else and, had it before 4Kids. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's crazy. interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's been a lot of different places. Um, so uh, so then 4Kids had it and then they uh, started doing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I got, you know, handed over by somebody over there to, to audition. And uh, they were auditioning for Duke. And uh, they, they liked what I did, and I, and I was lucky enough to get that. And then that kind of just snowballed into a bunch of other stuff that I got to do over at, uh, on Yu-Gi-Oh! And also a bunch of other shows at 4Kids. Awesome. That's interesting, because from what I understand, 4Kids is the very, like, you know, if you're in at 4Kids, you get in on everything, pretty much, right? Yeah, it was pretty yeah. great. It's yeah. like, because uh, it, it was like, at, at its peak, it was like, I want to say like five shows all being produced at once <laughs> yeah. like, so like you know yeah. i grew were up with a lot of those shows kind of cool. a lot of those yeah shows. yeah casey jones is one of my favorite roles years actually i'm a big fan of that ninja turtles is one of the biggest parts of my childhood yeah, oh, i love it <laughs> gungala right yeah <laughs> Ungala! oh i love that Dragage. better watch out pal oh i love that that's so great <laughs> my favorite was actually leonardo so sorry but yeah <laughs> all. <laughs> all right so I guess on that uh, note, who was your favorite role in the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise? Because like I said, you have been in everything. I, I even expect you're probably going to be in the next one that eventually gets dubbed, probably. <laughs> I don't know. Like, um, Do you want to do mean, it by it, show, maybe? Or? I guess, yeah. Like, like Duke, Duke, was, Duke was pretty fun, um, and, and I, I definitely like doing him. I think... Um, I, I, I love them all for different reasons. If I had to pick, I guess I'd pick Duke. Yeah. Um, but I, I liked doing uh, Raphael because that was pretty cool. Yeah, he was fun. It was fun to be uh, a super... only guy who ever beat Yugi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Duke, you'd say? Yeah, I, th I think I would. I would go with Duke. Although uh, he didn't have as much to do as as time went on, but uh, no. but it, it was still pretty fun, and that and that was just a fun arc to do. Mm -hmm. Well, he got to duel actually later on, which he didn't get to do in the manga or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite role from like GX or Five Ds? Like, um, not that I can recall. Like, is Five Five Ds with the motorcycles? The right, right, right. I feel yeah. like I didn't have as much to do. You were more of the villains. Like I said, you were uh, Roman Goodwin, who was like the brother of um uh the main villain who was voiced by uh, uh Matty Blostein. God rest. Oh him. yes. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I like uh, those one. I'm. I'm not. They, they're not as fresh in my mind. Right. Yeah. Not, the original's the most iconic. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm. I'm the GX guy. So that's my. Oh, okay. That's the slifer slacker. You know. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you know. Uh. So my favorite role of yours, actually, leading into my next question, is um is Chaz, uh, uh -huh. because you know the Chaz, Chaz it up. Um. Now you took over that role from uh, Anthony Celereno. I don't know how to pronounce Celereno, it. Celereno. Yeah. Yeah. Okay um around the second season and 
One thing I've always been curious about that, you do a great voice match of him, by the way. It, no, okay. Back in the day, no one could tell. No one could tell. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> but I, I, I'm curious, because you voice him even now in the video games and everything now. Like, you've basically taken over that role. Yeah. Um, what led to that recasting? Like, because he still showed up in the show and as other roles later. Did, did you ever figure out why, or was it just a call? Like, no, I think... Um... I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I, th I think it was just, but it was mainly, I, I do think it was Tony's decision that he uh, just didn't want to work on the show anymore or do, I think, I think it was kind of phasing out of dubbing. Right. And, and uh, like he, he does a lot of like uh, video production work right now. He's really oh, good. Really? At it. Like, so he's, I, I think he, it was just a personal choice on his behalf that he wanted to transition. He directed for a while and, and did a lot of that. So um mm -hmm. So I, I think they were happy with him and, and they, it wasn't anything where they didn't want him. I think right. he just wanted to move on and do some different things. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, his um his lines, Chaz stuff in particular, has become such a big meme in Yu-Gi-Oh! You might have yeah, seen yeah. it. I don't know. <laughs> people love, I think like last year or whatever, it was uh, Sean Schemmel as well. Um, a lot of these people got into social media because there's some YouTube page that was posting a lot of GX clips. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, there's just so many people love Chaz now. He's become, yeah. there's a lot of people have always been iffy on four kids dubs, not me personally. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm just, yeah, yeah. just saying, I'm not one of um, <laughs> but uh, I love you guys' work. But, you know, people were always iffy on GX. And um, I, I felt like a lot of the humor in that, uh, and a lot of performances of that, I think turned a lot of people around to it in recent years. So, mm, that's uh, cool, a lot yeah. of your lines, a lot of his lines too in that role. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I was so guilty taking credit for Chaz because I honestly all I did was try to match what Tony did. Yeah, so. but you know, you brought a lot of your own funny lines to it. Some of the best lines yeah. of that show actually are in like the later seasons where you did. There's one that I know everyone likes where he says, "Oh, I'm just great at playing card games, and that's really the only thing that matters here." And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people love love those. Can you still do Chaz? Do you remember how to do Chaz? Chaz it up! I like, oh, <laughs> oh, you're hitting me with my nostalgia. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that. <laughs> uh, you um, you're not gonna remember this character, <laughs> but this is a character I love because this was my favorite episode when I was a kid. Was um, you played a character, and I'm gonna put on my nerd glasses and say episodes uh, 19 and 20. <laughs> uh, you played a character called Dimitri, uh, who was a sniveling little asshole who uh, copied other people's stuff, and he stole Yukimoto Dan Green's cards. And you did a Dan Green impression. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I love that. that episode. <laughs> that was my favorite episode when I was a kid because I was like, this guy, this guy's the greatest. Like, because <laughs> like, he had like this uh, sniveling voice and then like yeah. just go into the Dan Green deep baritones. And, oh. All right. No. That was so fun to try to imitate yeah. Dan. Like the best. <laughs> I, I bet no one's ever asked you about this character ever. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I do yeah. remember having to imitate Dan and just it, it was just sort of Dan Green. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got a Dan Green impression. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, I love that episode. That was um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, actually, on that note, speaking of voice actors, I know um, for a lot of dubbed anime, uh, one of the things is you don't have the group recordings like you do in regular cartoons. But I do have to ask, because there's there's actually one particular voice actor from GX who was uh, very elusive in the fan base. No one even knew exactly who the hell he was until, like, a year or two ago. And that's uh, Matthew Charles, uh, the voice of Jaden. Um, he was a guy who only did Jaden and then, like, disappeared off the face of the earth. And then, like, I think, like, a year or two ago, everyone found out he's the same Matthew Charles who was on Little House on the Prairie in, like, yeah. the 70s or something. Um, and no one, like, the guy's super elusive. So I'm just asking, have you ever met the guy? <laughs> Because no, yeah, no, no one knows anything right. about him. He's so private. <laughs> yeah. I, I have friends for years been like, why isn't he at the convention? So we want to see Jaden. And it's like, yeah, more GX. Like everyone loves GX now, you know? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, no, yeah. I, I ran into him a couple of times and like, like sometimes our sessions would overlap and, uh, oh, yeah. and he's so, and, and I've, I've seen him at different auditions and things like mm. that. And so he's, he's really, really nice. He's really, he's really that's super. I, I think some people just, I, I haven't never spoken to him about it, so right. I, I'm just speculating right now. But I, but I think some people can get a little shy around the, the fandom stuff, and uh, especially anime fans, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> perhaps, but uh, but the uh, and and I think um, yes, yeah, so I, I don't I don't know what his uh, personal reasons might be, but but uh, I, I think I think he was he experienced fame at a very young age 
with Little right. House Curry. So I imagine he's extra cautious about mm. his privacy and stuff. But uh, that's interesting. Yeah, child really actors. Yeah. Guy. Yeah. Like really, really awesome guy. Super talented. And that's cool. Sorry to ask a question not about you, but uh, that's yeah, what yeah. that's what people <laughs> wanted to know for years. And yeah, <laughs> people always ask what that guy's the whole thing is. And actually, speaking of like the events and tournaments and whatnot, um, have you you have you ever been to those where you do the live voice actings uh, thing? Yeah, yeah, I I got to do one with Dan actually. Oh, who'd you, um, who who were you as Duke? I assume. They no, I I thought I was gonna do Duke, but uh, I think they had me do Raphael for that. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Oh, and it was that's really fun. cool. And that was like one of the first times I uh, really got a glimpse of of how much people were a fan of yeah. of, of the game and of the of the yeah. show. Because like you know, to be honest, like I I I've tried to learn to play the game, but I just yeah. you know, it was too complicated for me, I guess. <laughs> Um, it's one of those you kind of have to get into it when you're younger and you, you yeah yeah i i learned the show or from the show as a kid and which was the worst way to learn <laughs> oh, okay. I, I can't explain <laughs> to people now how to play that game i try but right. they're like i don't attack mode what like, yeah <laughs> but because well, that's the thing is like yeah. when we did the live reading like you know when i'm doing the show the director tells me yeah okay this card you're playing here is a really you know, tough card or this card's hard to beat or whatever. So he'll, he'll kind of fill me in with the intentions as we go. But most of the time I'm just kind of saying what the words on the page are. And I don't really know what's going on. So when we did the live tournament, it was so fascinating because I I'd play the card and then there's certain cards where it was like, Oh, or like, no, you know, and like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Oh wow. Like this is like being in a football game, you know? And like, they really knew like what each play was going to do before I did. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched a, a couple from some others. There was one, um, I think, but I, f I forget the gentleman's name, the the man who voiced um, Aster Phoenix in GX. Um, I don't remember his name at the moment. That's not Ted Lewis, is it? No. It might, oh, it might be Ted. No, I don't remember. It might be Ted Lewis. That sounds familiar. I, I know, like, all the actors from Four Kids. I'm just it's blanking right now. Yeah. Um, it might have been, yeah. Uh, he was also a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't you weren't in that episode you wouldn't know that one but he was a dolphin man and uh that's also a, a meme favorite for the internet uh <laughs> but he uh because uh, uh, he was playing because he's the other guy who plays uh the the hero monsters that Jaden played his character oh. so of course uh that's a very popular thing in the game so people at tournaments like freak out over it and it's funny because uh, sometimes you could tell he knew which ones were the important ones in the show, but fans of the game typically have a very different view of those things. So sometimes they'll freak out over the nothing, you know, oh, okay. uh, yeah. it's like, you don't care about the big important one. No. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, okay. You, you don't pause care about for applause and there's nothing there. It's like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you don't care about plasma. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Whoa. Diamond. Dude. No, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the grunt ones. No one cares about. <laughs> All right. That's cool. Um, I get Oz this too, uh, especially. Do you have any like funny lines or, or just dumb things you remember saying that any of your characters did? Especially Chaz, because Chaz is the one that everyone memes to hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I just I just remember throwing like a dice at Joey in the dog. <laughs> just remember, like, what show is this? Like, what is even going on? Oh, the furry suit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. oh, people, uh, people mm, still joke about that one. <laughs> yeah. Dungeon Dice Monsters. Did you ever see they made an actual game out of that? No, did they? They did. It did not do well. <laughs> oh, darn. No, I, it's funny because um, I was wanted it as a kid because I was like, oh, that's cool. Because I, I ate everything. I, know. I, I like, ate it all up. You know, I was like, oh, what a cool, cool idea, you know. But yeah. uh, no, it failed horribly here. They had, um, they had some more of them in Japan, I believe. They did the Egyptian gods in that one, too. Mm. So they went all in in Japan, but no one cared. <laughs> it's a shame. Those are rare now too. I tried to buy um, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon from it, the little piece, the little game piece, but no, nah, it's too, so expensive. No. <laughs> they're cool though. Um, they're they're definitely cool. Actually, on that note, do you uh, do you have a favorite card at all, like from any of your characters? Um, no. I mean, I I, I guess oh, I'm gonna botch it. What what were Chaz's? Uh, um, uh, ojamas um, ojamas yeah i've signed a lot of ojamas and i and i oh yeah because they were kind of like the three stooges and, yeah uh, uh sean okay. shemmel was um ojama yellow and nobody yes. i tell people that they're always so astounded that goku was 
was that little gremlin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crowler too, who is also a great character, actually. But. Yeah. <laughs> you and um, you and Sean actually honestly stole that show with those characters. Like, Crowler and Chaz, yeah, fun. funniest characters. Yeah. Funniest characters. No, I I, I really <laughs> love doing those scenes. Yeah. Um. God, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm a little starstruck. I'm just trying to think of more questions. I wrote down so many, and I've already blown through like all of all of the the good ones. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'll ask one or two, I guess, non yu gi related questions for me, because I need to know this. I need to ask some stuff about turtles, because I love turtles. Oh, yeah. Um, just, like, what was it like working on that show? Because, you know, the 80s show was super, and then the 4 kids show. A lot of people don't like to remember the 2003 show anymore, but you were like, Casey's such a big part of that and was such a huge yeah. character. So how, how was that? I mean, that one for me was pretty special because uh like i grew up watching the original yeah uh, the turtles like i didn't have as much of a personal connection to pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh because mm-hmm. uh, i wasn't as familiar with those franchises so um i learned to really love being a part of them but like ninja turtles like right from the audition i was like oh i really want this this would be amazing <laughs> you know yeah um and Did then it was all the turtles cool. What's that? Did you go in for any of the turtles or just? Oh yeah, like I. Oh, of course, right. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was always a little like, oh, I wish it was one of the turtles, but uh, but all those guys were perfect. Like they were, they totally nailed all those roles. So I was just, I was definitely happy to be, you know, get to to be a part of it, and that and that Casey was a, a a big enough part of it Mm -hmm. too. Like he, they, they had him around a lot. So, um, but yeah, like and and what was also special about that was. Um, it was prelay, meaning uh, we weren't dubbing. We right. were you could just uh, riff it. like laying it down. Yeah. So we could really, um, you know, we weren't we weren't uh, like there's there's pros and cons to prelay and to mm-hmm. dubbing. Like dubbing, it's it's fun because you get to you know see the picture. So the picture is doing a lot of work. You just have to like fill the soul of the picture with your voice. Mm-hmm. But with prelay, you have to use your imagination a lot, so you don't see the picture. But then there's maybe a little bit more creativity and a little more freedom in terms of how you say the line and the intensity, or like you can play around with humor more, you can improv sometimes and they'll, Oh yeah, let's keep that in there. You know? So like there's, there, there, there's things to love about both. Um, so, but with the prelay, like we also got to be, um, it was one of the few and only shows I've done where we recorded all together. So like right. I get to be in the booth with, you know, Mikey and Donatello and Leonardo and, and, and Raph and like, and do the scenes together, which is such a joy. Cause you get to play off of them and it just, it just changes the energy and it changes the performance. And uh, mm-hmm. it's the only, well, no, I shouldn't say, I get to do that on Peking Duckling as well, which is a kid's show. But, okay. uh, I haven't heard uh, of that one. What's that one? Yeah, about? yeah, yeah. But it's, it's so fun when you get to do it that way. It's more expensive, but it, right. it's, it's really fun. It's better for the actors. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the overall performance is just. Oh changed. yeah, no, yeah, dubbing, so, um, def- right. dubbing definitely. I've heard that story a lot uh, over the years, and yeah, dubbing definitely seems like it's uh, not the preferred way for a lot of people. But yeah, I mean, you get to do but, stuff you wouldn't otherwise get to do, right? So yeah, yeah, and it's it's a fun challenge. Like dubbing right. is a fun challenge because it's like, you know, when you the animation, especially in some of these shows, is just so outlandish and so big. It's it's kind of a fun challenge to try to figure out what that would sound like. So you know, so. That 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 I I find dubbing to, to be fun, but but then sometimes the the downside of dubbing is that you are hindered by like how quick or slow they slay mm-hmm. it, and so it it might not sound natural because you're trying to match the flaps and you're trying to match yeah. the cadence of of what it was in the Japanese, and sometimes that doesn't always translate well into English. So like there's there's challenges there, but I've heard but, um a lot of the time what they'll do is if they really like something they'll edit the flaps a bit to match yes. it, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> if they really, really like it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, somewhat spun out from that. Um, other stuff you've done, uh, which honestly, I I didn't know you had done this. And I found out, I was like, Chaz and Yukio did this? I was, uh, <laughs> was, uh, was the Thrawn trilogy from Star yeah. Wars. I heard you, I was like, well, Mark Thompson did that? The forecast guy? And I, like, I, I booted <laughs> that up. And um, I haven't been actively listening to a lot of stuff uh, for years you know, uh, I watched the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I watched, you know, four kids disbanded. Um, a lot, you don't hear a lot of those guys anymore. Some of them, you know, most of them go for 4K under Konami for Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. But yeah. Um, 
You don't hear a lot of them. And, like, they got so many new, great, talented people now. You don't hear a lot of the old ones anymore. So I'm like, where are all the four kids, guys? So I, I saw that you did Star Wars. I'm like, oh, man, Star Wars really loves it. Like, everyone in Star Wars loves this guy. Like, <laughs> I'm like, do they know he was from Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> like, yeah, but, it's funny. Uh, there's not too many uh, – there's not too much crossover in the fandom. I, yeah. I Like, every once in a while, you find someone who's a fan of both. But That must be rare. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny when one group discovers the other group. They're like, wait, what? Because it's because then it's the same way in reverse. Like, I've been at Star yeah. Wars conventions, and someone will all of a sudden discover that I did Pokemon. I'm like, what? Like, no oh, way. You are, no. like, a million voices. But I looked at Pokemon. I know you did an interview with someone else, I think, a year or two ago. And he mostly focused on Pokemon. And I was like... I saw that and I was like, well, I can contact him and get him to talk about you, Gil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I looked at your Pokemon list and it's like, I can't even begin to dissect that list. It's huge. No, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, <most>. God. <laughs> so much. And I'm not as big a Pokemon guy. I like Pokemon. But uh, but when I, when I heard you did Thrawn, I bought all three of those like, a, like immediately I listened. Oh, to cool. Them. Thank oh, you. I, I loved... I almost didn't have money for it. I was like, do I have to? But like, no, no, I'll do it. Do it for Mark. <laughs> do it for Mark. Uh, I loved them because I always, I, I had the books uh, years ago, but uh, Star Wars novels can be really dry sometimes. Mm -hmm. So even yeah. the great ones, like, you know, Tim yeah. Timothy Zahn's amazing, but uh, I had a hard time reading them because I had a hard time sitting down and just, you know, thumbing through them. They were good, mind you, but like, you know, yeah. there's the abridged versions, which I wasn't as into because they skip all over a lot of stuff. But I heard yours. And I know your voice from stuff, and you do a voice. I'm like, that's like that voice from that show, and that's yeah. like this one. And I, I fell in love with those so hard. And your impressions of like Mark Hamill was great, and you know, oh, uh, I was surprised how much of Carrie Fisher got. Me. <laughs> I was like, how did he pull that off? But uh, <laughs> uh, uh, watching, I, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, but you're, you're Thrawn in that. Cause later on you started, I haven't listened to the, the, the new ones, yeah. uh, from the post Disney ones, but you take off the guy who did it in the cartoon for that one. Yeah. When we started the new, uh, Thrawn books that are part of the, the new canon, I, mm -hmm. I tried to honor what, uh, Lars Mickelson did in the, uh, in the rebels cartoon. So and he's got honest, a really good honest, voice. I like yours better. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I, I loved your voice. Oh, the, the deep baritone the yeah, the silky yeah. smooth thing of that i'm like oh i love this guy i want to go for the empire now no no, no. <laughs> no exactly oh great character you did you 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 uh you absolutely sold that for me and finally got me to actually sit through all of it because it was oh, hard cool. no Thank i loved it i absolutely loved it now i'm gonna go back to four kids you give stuff for a second actually and uh so you did i'm like again i'm looking at your like list of all the Yu Gi Oh stuff you just you've done so much for Yu-Gi-Oh in particular, like, like it's so many. Like every background voice is like you. Yeah, <laughs> everyone. Like you're 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 the most people people don't even care about Siegfried. No one cares about Siegfried. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, my, my my buddy I mentioned before, his boyfriend is um he, he started showing him Yu-Gi-Oh and they got to they got to that season. Um, and they got to Siegfried, and they're like, who the hell is this fucking idiot? <laughs> like, they, they thought he was the stupidest guy. And, but they, uh, they love the voice, obviously. You know, yeah. like, the voice is funny. That was great. Like, that yeah. German, whatever the hell that was, the pink-haired guy. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, God, you had... Uh, you did so much for GX2. Like I said, Dimitri, you did... You did another um, pink-haired man named the Prince who had like uh, like a mm, British kind of thing, yeah. Um, and he had like a satellite. He was like a for like two episodes. Like, oh my God, you did. Uh... Oh my God, I'm just looking at the list. Oh my God, dude, how do, <laughs> how do you get all this? <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, one of my favorite ones was. Um... Uh, the aforementioned Ted Lewis character, I believe Ted Lewis, uh, Aster, his father was called the D. Actual oh, yeah. name, the actual name they called him. Uh, <laughs> that was, uh, if I recall, it was just kind of your 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 typical like deep gravelly thing that you do for yeah, a time. Well, yeah. uh, I love that character because he just went around calling himself that, right? Yeah. <laughs> the D. You gotta have a lot of confidence in yourself to <laughs> try right, right, right. yourself that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you um one of your biggest roles from what I can tell is Astral from from oh. Zexel. That's a huge one. Yeah, I didn't watch was... much of that dub, but like that's that's big. Is it airing anywhere? Like no, they... it's done. That was like yeah, 10 yeah. years ago now almost. I guess yeah. Oh, that great. makes me feel old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I remember when that aired. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. 
No, that was fun. And that, that was, you're right. That was a, a, a bigger, probably the mm-hmm. biggest part I've done in Yu-Gi-Oh! He was, he was a main character pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was fun. And it was and a, kind of a departure for mo- from most of the voices I do. Cause he was very much like Yuma, like, he, like he's yeah. kind of Hal 2000 and like, yeah. I tend to play or gravitate more towards the big crazy voices. And that was just the big manly like, man stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, but it was fun to do. And there was, I, I love the humor in that one too. It was kind of the I, dark great. version of him. 96 too. Oh yeah. 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 Right. I didn't, I didn't watch that far into the dub. So what was your voice for him? Like, we, we chose to make it the same, but it just, was exactly the same it's oh, okay. intention. It was just same uh, voice, but just like more of a darker, um, okay. uh, mindset. So it says you also voiced, um, I barely remember these characters cause I watched the subtitle version way back when it was new cause the dub hadn't come out yet. So when I was, I was right. watch everything, um, Gireg, Alito, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, those were like major characters in the next seasons, weren't they? Those two, they were like, yeah. it was like the boxing guy. And he had a guy with hands. Like uh, I think that's what their gimmick was. God, it's been so long. Even I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. were like two very important characters, if I recall, actually. <laughs> for an arc, yeah, I, I can't remember. They were yeah. late in that show. God, I even I barely remember that one. Now I'm <laughs> now I'm the one who. The only other one I really strongly remember is is the frog. Like, uh... oh, that's from Brains, right? Oh, from Brains. That's Sorry, from it's Brains. Not, I'm thinking that hasn't you... aired. So, yeah, I don't no, know. Rains is Rains is uh, it's almost done, I believe. Uh, okay. it's 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 wrapping up now in gotcha. the dub. I've been meaning to sit down and just go through all of it because I watched it all subtitled and I loved that show. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of fun with the storyline of that one, so I'm like, oh, I gotta see the dub because I, I saw some clips of the dub and I'm like, this feels classic for yeah. kids. Sit, I love that. No, it, yeah. yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, like I because I, I like the humor in it a lot. So. Yeah, I saw like a lot of hot dog jokes and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're back, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it old, old school Yu-Gi-Oh uh, oh you actually yeah. voice um, you voice one of my favorite characters on that show uh, Flame I love that character oh, yes. in the Japanese one because uh, my friend keeps saying that that's like me <laughs> just ah. like a, just like a really like serious but like says stupid shit kind of <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great one because uh, he didn't have any mouth movement so oh, we you were... could just yeah you could just do whatever yeah 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 so we got to play around a lot with that one so. oh that's fun do you know if you're going to um uh i i assume this is I, I know you probably can't say anything about this but i'll ask something that's kind of you can say uh more people most people believe yeah the next one is probably gonna get a dub probably do you think you're gonna try an audition for that or do they have to call you in or you just you want to keep going with Yu-Gi-Oh? you want to just be in all of it <laughs> yeah they if they if they cast me i would love to be a part of it i, I would love to, i would love to be because uh, oh, i, I, I love so. working with everybody over there and uh, Darren is an amazing director and Pegasus, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's Pegasus so, himself, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll keep coming as long as they want me. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The guy who uh the guy who plays the guy who made the card game in the show is now running the show. <laughs> that's, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Uh yeah. Um I guess I'll ask you one or two other questions before we can wrap this up. Um I don't have to make this too long, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but I'll ask a few other four kidsy stuff, or just other things that I find interesting on your whole IMDb thing here. Uh, it says that you recently got to voice Megatron, which I noted at the intro. That's pretty cool. How did yeah, you get to do Megatron? One. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was another one that was special just because I grew up doing Transformers right. or l- watching Transformers. Uh, and uh, I really like doing that one. Now, that one was kind of hard on the throat after a while, but uh, I looked up a clip or two of it. I was like, "Wow, that's really <laughs> that yeah. One. yeah." But it was, but it was really fun, and and I was really pleased with the animation on that one. Like that, it really looked great. Like, yeah, really- I, I like the style of it from I've so I haven't seen that one. I grew up with the um, the ones from the two thousands. Uh, they had like you know David K. Megatron, Gary okay. Chalk, that kind of those guys. The can the, gotcha. the other the Canadian voice actors. Uh, I don't I don't I'm, I'm like such a newbie with that sort of stuff. Yeah. But, uh, you know I've 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 seen bits of that over over time, but it's uh, that's this that's felt yeah. like a good like it it felt like a throwback to the eighties version. To, to I don't the G one one yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but but it mixed in with a little bit of the. Uh, what was the one that was on Cartoon Network? Transformers Animated, I think it was called. Or something. But uh, there's there, there's been a lot of versions, but this one felt like it was kind of a, trying to kind of right. stylistically feel more like the '80s. But uh, right, yeah. 
I, I, cool, I, I liked it. Yeah, that must have been so cool to just do. Yeah, that. It was yeah. Great. Did, who, did, 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 did you work with the other actors on that one? That was pre pre laid, but I still had to. Uh, they still had us do it individuals. Did so. you have Peter Cullen on that one? No. Oh, that would have been great. Uh, yeah, the uh, the guy who's playing uh, Optimus on that uh, is awesome. Oh yeah, who, who's that? Uh, what we're we doing? Uh, I'm blanking on his name right now. I think it's Matt. But um. Okay. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so that was super, that was super fun. Like, oh, that, that you know, that's that's pretty sick. That is yeah. pretty sick. Uh oh man. Oh, he voiced Wolverine on uh, the astonishing oh. X Men motion comic. Was it? I, yes, I watched that back in the day. I watched that back in the day. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I was kind of hoping that motion comics would take off. <laughs> yeah, I, I that would have been really cool. Just, that would have been cool. Because um, it was this weird, like, in between thing where it wasn't right completely animation, but it wasn't just stills. And but I actually really liked the format a lot. And uh, um, and I actually directed that. I don't know. If oh, you directed know. that. Yeah, yeah, but it was really good. Um, Interesting. The, and, one of the uh, only things I remember with that is it was Greg Abbey as Cyclops. And I remember that was yeah. like, that really threw me because I was like, Tristan, right? What, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was that was super fun, and that that was another one where it's like you know I, I've been really lucky because I got to do Transformers, Ninja Turtles. Um, I got to do GI Joe, even oh, though that yeah, GI Joe, well, I remember that one. But those were all the shows I grew up watching. So like right. the fact. That Kind of do these reboot versions of them. The early two thousands were really good for that. They did a lot of reboot stuff of that. Like I said, they, they did the yeah. Transformers. They did GI Joe. I watched a little bit of GI Joe, but I I never got into it. Mostly because I'm Canadian, so I didn't really get the oh, whole. Okay. I didn't really get the whole like American here. Well, I don't I care. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, as a kid, I was like, well, that's not where I'm from. Click. <laughs> like, oh, okay. You know? Real no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, you know, when I was kidding, like Captain America, because I was like, well, that's not it. <laughs> now I love him. But, you do, know, that... oh, yeah. Do Canadians not like Captain America? Is that like a thing? No, that... no, no. That was just me being stupid as a kid. Okay, okay. We do have our own kind of parody of him called Captain Canuck. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he looks exactly like him. He didn't have a shield or anything, but like, he's not technically a ripoff, but he's like super a ripoff. I find him very funny. Uh, <laughs> he's not owned by anyone, but. Uh, oh really? Like, no, he's just like some. He's owned by like some company here. No, eh. like, um, there's there's a Marvel character called Guardian, uh, from Alpha Flight, who's basically the same. <laughs> gotcha. Right. Yeah. I think it's name, yeah. Yeah. It's it's like just imagine Alpha Flight, but without any of the stuff. <laughs> like that's basically <laughs> what he is. Yeah. Uh, no, I love. Uh, <laughs> God. Uh. What else do I got here? Oh, fuck. Uh, Ultimate Muscle. That's another one. Oh, um, yeah. That was, um, <laughs> I think I got that. I'm trying to remember if I got that before Yu-Gi-Oh or not. Uh, or no, no, no. I think me... it must have been, been after. Ultimate Muscle was the same year, apparently. 2002. Yeah. So I think I think, I think I got Duke first and then uh. got Ultimate Muscle. Um, but that was a big deal because that was the first time I was like. The main well, character. Yeah, it was the first time I was the main character. I was like the kind of lead character so that was pretty fun i remember seeing commercials for that one when i was a kid but i did not see it until a couple years ago i want to say like 2012 2013 oh wow um the the company who owned it at the time whatever company it was this was back when like four kids still had like a youtube channel they would put all their shows on there and whatever uh -huh. um back old old youtube um some company just uploaded the whole show for free, like oh. the company that owned it, I I, I checked yeah, yeah. it all the time. It was like, yeah, they just put up all of it, and I just I was bored one one weekend. I was like, I'll just watch all of this because the theme song is <laughs> fun. So, because yeah. I remember the theme song being catchy as hell, and I was just like, yeah, all right, and I just watched all of it, and I just like sat there watching that whole show, and it is bad good. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah. so bad good. That's I love a good it. way to describe it, yeah. <laughs> I, could, I could tell that, like, everyone working on it was just, this is fucking stupid. Let's just go crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, I kinda. It. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it was just bizarre. Dick, and I, was, like, oh I remember asking several times, like, is this really gonna go on TV? Like, are they really allowed <laughs> to put this on TV? Yeah, the innuendos um, were pretty on that one, eh? Yeah, I think we tamed a lot of those, um, which some people might be upset that we tamed them, but, uh, but uh, it's just like, yeah. So, but like that, but you know, like the, the preposterousness of the humor and like, you know, all the different wrestlers that, that came in every week, uh, you know, you have a lobster wrestler and like, uh, for some reason, a bicycle helmet wrestler <laughs> that sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, so like, uh, that's, it was that's the most Japan thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. 
<laughs> that was it was very fun I, I i remember just being surprised and i still love the the with my rights i like to have some cow 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 yeah like that song. it's ridiculous and, oh, i liked your voice oh. on that one it was fun yeah. <laughs> yeah the main character that one right yeah kid muscle yeah. was it kid yep yeah okay uh oh yeah Ooh. this one's probably gonna ruffle some people uh because i know people really like this show i never got into it personally but four kids had one piece at one point since you were yeah. in that yeah, people yeah, yeah. really don't like the four kids thing of that huh uh, yeah but i don't i i haven't heard enough of the conversation to know why like what what's the main i, I think it's i think it's to... the usual thing it's just a really popular thing in japan and four kids you know likes to do its alterations for tv and yeah, yeah. uh you know different companies are more or less strict on that you know say funimation has different standards and practices than four kids so mm. yeah uh i think that's why i get i never got into it so i don't know but people get really heated about that one so yeah <laughs> uh, who'd you voice on yeah. that i was uh don krieg the big uh violent uh guy yeah it was fun like yeah yeah i think you're right i think that's what i'm remembering now is that they i think it was it was also it wasn't so much for kids, but I think it was that it was being broadcast on Fox at the time, and and uh, whatever network you were on, I think you were hindered by their standards and practices. Right. Okay. Oh, so it was. Mo- oh, yeah, because it was the Fox box and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a throwback. <laughs> yeah. oh, were you ever on uh, uh, Fox? Oh, I love like the old jingle Fox box. Rocks. <laughs> love that. Oh, that was that's so nostalgic. Did you uh, were you ever on like Sonic and all those shows? I think I was, but I think I it was feel like, like you must have been on Sonic because I feel like everyone was on Sonic at the time. Yeah, like I vaguely remember doing ADR on a Sonic screen, but I, I think it was oh, like must not have been I, a main character they, then because I guess they would have um, listed it. Would it would have been um, maybe that was F Zero, like uh, F Zero. I, I can't remember, but there was a, F, there was an F Zero. <laughs> I think so. Wow, like a season or something, but like I think I did like. Uh, can't remember like like there's a couple shows like that where i did like kind of minor characters and right. I don't, they were in like one or two episodes and then that was it so i don't that's a shame well then maybe yeah. dodged a bullet sonic is a very mm, topic when it comes to voice actors oh, really? yeah, yeah people get really passionate about their sonic voice actors oh like which one they prefer yeah yeah who's his favorite uh my favorite or in general people in general but but i think is... uh well my favorite is jason griffith the guy who did him for four kids but uh yeah. You know, but most people for, prefer, uh, uh, I think his name is Brian Drummond, the guy who did him for the games first. Oh, I see. For like yeah. the Dreamcast or whatever. Uh, nah, Whichever nah. one you grow up with, that's the one you tend to be most loyal yeah, to. Yeah, it was me with Jason. You know, like I, I just liked his voice for it. And so that's always what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> Those video, Yu-Gi-Oh! closing thoughts is uh, just what, what, what are your like just thoughts on that franchise and like your just a general overview of your like experience and like how you feel about it i mean like, what, like I, what keeps you coming back you know <laughs> <laughs> i mean honestly for me it's it's the people uh, mm-hmm. behind the scenes um just because we were there, there was something special about four kids at that time and mm-hmm. it was so busy and there were so many shows and 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 a lot of the actors like you know i, I got to know a lot of those actors on turtles being in the booth with them but just coming and going you get to know each other and we actually even um like greg at one point put together uh a, like a a, a a theater piece that a bunch of us did together oh yeah um and we did a little off-broadway thing together and it was so it's like just just like i have a lot of friendships from that time and uh and and that's kind of what i think of most when i when i when i think of Oh, like i i just that like those there's so much like camaraderie and joking around between Mm -hmm. takes and like you know everybody kind of just like uh it was just like being in a like a a fraternity or like a like a like a house with a bunch of roommates you know and just like Mm -hmm. that that kind of like level of joking around and and you know and just having a good time together it was it was just really special and i i kind of miss that and and i love getting to go back whenever I do and, and get to work with those same people. And um, Cause four kids got pretty much entirely scooped up by Konami just for Yu-Gi-Oh at this point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like, yeah. like I, I still have gotten to work on, uh, what was the last Yu-Gi-Oh show? It's the one uh, with Vrains. Or no. Uh, yeah. Vrains. I, I've done yeah. some work on Vrains. 
um not as much as i used to but like mm -hmm. uh so i still get to see darren i still get to see right. uh, the audio engineer joe and um so i don't know so for for Oh, like some i think i mentioned this earlier but some of the other shows i have some nostalgic connection to because i grew up yeah. watching original versions of those shows but for Oh, for me it's more about what happened behind the scenes than so yeah. much the show itself because i'm not as of course connected to the show itself for those but just just because I didn't grow up with it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. if I, like I think I, uh, uh, you know, and then once you've dubbed it, you're not as interested in watching it because like, you've I've, done all the lines. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> and I've watched it a couple of times just to kind of see how it all mixed right. together. But, you know, um, I was a young parent at the time and, didn't, mm -hmm. you know, so like I just did, I just don't have as much connection to the actual show. But like the people who made the show, uh, I have some pretty solid friendships from that. So I'm very grateful that I That's got to great. Yeah. Well, if you ever want to rewatch them, I'd say watch all the GX because it's my favorite. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's very fun. Uh, they never got to dub the fourth season, unfortunately, and I I was I was disappointed by that. That's actually another thing I actually meant to ask was um, uh, have you ever heard anything from the fourth? Like, was there ever anything that people brought up to you and said, "Oh, hey, your character does this"? They're like, is there anything you ever regret that you didn't get to do for that? Because the like Five Ds two had its final season undubbed. Like those shows, was there ever anything you were like someone told you or you looked up and you're like, oh, I wish I could have done that? No, I, I heard like rumblings of um, stuff like that, but then I I wasn't I didn't have my fingers on the pulse of that enough right. to know when it was coming or when if you know what 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 different things had happened. So uh, so yeah, no, I, I I didn't remember any of those details. But that's a shame. People been people still campaigning for GX season four. People really? still doing cool. it. Yeah, people felt really well, in the burned age by of that. Content, you never know if, if people if, felt know, really yeah. burned by it. You know, uh, uh, I actually um, before I got in contact with you, I had, I was actually um, previously I was actually sending up also an interview with uh, Joel Duick who did the uh, soundtrack for the original Yu Gi Oh dub. Oh, cool. um, and I chatted with him, and I got a bunch of his uh, contemporaries. It just fell through. We just didn't get up to doing it. But oh. um, he uh, he he told me a lot about the behind the scenes of that stuff, and like from the audio point of view. And apparently, like Konami uh, owns all that stuff, and they can release that stuff whenever they want. But they're holding on to it for some reason. So people are like, mm, "What are they gonna do?" <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I don't know if they're aiming for like a. I really don't know, like their own yeah. streaming or if they're trying to maybe sell it to some, one of the streaming I, services, or I don't, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I if they do, I hope they get everyone back, because that's got to be hard. All those voice actors have, yeah. have moved on, you know? All right, yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like most of the ones from that show are still doing it. I mean, it's funny, the um the main the main uh, female lead from GX, Alexis, they recast her like two times, and no one noticed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I always feel bad about, because I didn't notice. <laughs> right. I, testament to the voice performance, I suppose, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so um yeah that's all right um that's good so you'd say that your overall your experience with the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise has been a good one then oh absolutely yeah yeah <laughs> no, it's, really, it's really fun do you still get people like fans coming to you specific for that or is it mostly just the other stuff these days i mean aside from Yu-Gi-Oh specific events yeah I, th I think it like it's it's slowed down um since when it was maybe At initially the height, yeah. here um but I still, there, there's, there's still, I'm still pleasantly surprised that, that people will say, oh, I love that show, or I, I totally remember that, or, you know, like, sometimes it's it's more, um, like, if I get to do a Comic-Con or something like that, I'll, you know, run into people, and, and they'll bring up voices that I'm like, oh, yeah, I did do that voice, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. you know, oh, so. Dimitri from episode 28. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, it's, it's pretty, so, so that's fun. And, and I'm, I'm glad that I got to be a part of something that meant a lot to some to someone because I that's cool. I have those things in my life. So I, I know how special those things are. So it's it's fun to know that uh, these shows meant that for someone else. It's really it's really an honor. You got to go back and do Duke for that movie a few years ago. Yeah. For a few lines. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Although but, I was a little bummed because I wanted him to do more than just wait tables. Well, yeah, I, that that one was actually based on the manga. Um, oh, okay. Uh, and it's funny because this is only something that a, a nerd like me would notice. But um, you see, in his in in the manga, in the manga version, he he's he's got a dad who's a clown. Um, and you see him in the background of that movie. <laughs> so uh, his his father, Duke's father, is a clown. So if you ever need to put that for a future performance. <laughs> I think I remember someone saying that, but then yeah. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, um, 
uh, for for Duel Links, I'll ask you real quick about Duel Links. Um, you because you a lot of your characters are in that too. Um, what's is that like any different from like recording from the show? Is that just like you're given a list and you just okay, okay bye? Like, yeah. Um, so for for that, it's like this huge Excel sheet, and you, it's like they'll they'll in one column they'll say something like, um player is winning or player is attacking or player is losing player is defending or you know whatever and then it's like all the different possible responses you could have in any scenario like you know and mm -hmm. then you have to read each of those so like um it you you kind of go through and it's it's a little bit like uh like kind of like a factory where you're you're kind of like you know inserting this card right. in here you know so um, but it's an interesting process and it's, and, and it's also fun. Cause I, a friend of mine was like, I just played with you on dueling. <laughs> so that, that's another I, um, thing to have. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I don't play that game as much, but I love looking at like all the voice lines and stuff on YouTube. Cause like, I love just hearing all these people who haven't done these characters in forever. Um, oh, I forget her name right now, but the, the, the actress who did you bell from GX, who went on to be a lot of characters. She was a Morgana in, in, uh, persona, and like a bunch of other things, like a lot of popular stuff right now. Uh -huh. um, she got her start at Four Kids, and I was like, "Oh my god, I haven't heard this voice in fifteen years." Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. It's crazy. It's a huge nostalgia trip. Again, Matthew Charles is in that. Like, I don't think anyone expected him to show up. <laughs> you know. Oh, cool. uh, so you know, um, I, I actually at one point one of the nerdiest things I ever did for my YouTube was just. Um, I love those those voice line things. So I just I made my own and recorded my own. <laughs> I just put oh, like dude. I did that same thing. I just like what if I was in this game? <laughs> and I right, just, right, right. I did like a like, a huge like two three minute long thing of just voice 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 voice. Oh, cool! Uh, <laughs> it's fun. It's actually a lot of yeah. fun doing all those like epic stupid over the top anime things. Right, right, right. <laughs> I draw. You know. Yeah, <laughs> Pot totally. <of> greed. <laughs> What's that do? <laughs> Draw two cards. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, now, the last thing I'm going to ask you uh, before I let you go for the uh, for the day. Um, could you indulge a very, very nerdy voice request or two for me? <laughs> I can try. I do. I do. I'm, I don't always remember all the ones I've done. The one I have to ask is, could you just say some generic, like, you're watching the Slifer Slacker as Chaz? <laughs> All right, you're watching the Slifer Slacker. Chaz it up, Slifer. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, you're a legend. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. It's been great having you. Um, I appreciate this so much. Uh, yeah, I... no problem. Thanks for having me. All right, I'm going to cut the recording. So, well, uh, well uh, thank you very much. I'll have this uploaded. I'll link it to you. So. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video, and big, big thanks to Mark Thompson. Uh, having him on was super fun. I'm super happy I was able to talk to him, uh, and I apologize to him and you guys for running out of Yu-Gi-Oh! questions about halfway through, rambling on about other stuff for about 10 minutes before finally getting back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! But hey, it's my video. I can do what I want. <laughs> Again, uh, remember to support Mark, obviously, you know, buy his stuff, uh, his audiobooks, support him on socials, just watch his shows, because the guy's super talented, uh, and never stop watching the Yu-Gi-Oh! dubs, if you do, you're a coward. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's it for this video, if you like what you see, you can always subscribe for more, leave a comment, etc, etc, so, uh, yeah, have a great day, an even better tomorrow, and get your game on! See ya.